Well, it was a lovely show. Uh, it was good to see you uh, filing your nails on stage. I haven't seen a performer do that before no. well, um, you, at all. If you go around enough kind of Celtic finger pickers, you you, you would. This, I first saw that one. Tony McManus, uh, right. an influence of mine, and you'd be like, that's a bit weird. Is that and too... years um, later, I get big grooves in the nails. Like throughout the set, I get these big kind of grooves that kind of get caught on my guitar right. because they, they, they wear away throughout the set. And so I have to actually file the grooves out. Otherwise, I, I, I get stuck to my guitar. I was, that was one of the like, things that I first recognized or just noticed just then, your nails. They're so distinct. Do you, have they ever gotten you in trouble? Uh, I nearly didn't have my wife because of it. She kind of thought I was some weird gothic <laughs> cross-dressing thing, which is totally cool to be one, by the way. But it was, that just wasn't her thing. Sure. And sure. so she's like, I don't know about this guy. His left hand is cool. His right hand's a bit... But she, uh, she went for me anyways. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, uh, it's Like A Version, John Butler trio in the studio. You're about to play Living In The City. When you're ready. Don't look back, they don't take the pity. You know I never said it would. 